What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to talk a little bit more today about selling on TCG Player. We want to talk about speed run level one through level four. You're just getting started out on TCG Player. How do you do that? How do you go quickly from level one to level four? And why do they even have the levels? Well, first, they have the levels essentially because they want to make sure that just any old person that picks up, you know, an account on TCG Player can actually deliver a card to somebody can you actually take a magic card a pokemon card a sorcery card can you take it put it in something send it to somebody on time and uh you know when they open it up it's not completely destroyed they're testing you to make sure you can handle that and they do that by making sure that your inventory has limits so you can't you know have 500 a thousand cards listed because the other thing is they don't want someone to go list 2,000 cards in inventory. The person doesn't have their inventory system figured out. The person doesn't, you know, have efficient ways to pick, pull, and ship. They, they want you to build over time to say, okay, I can, I can manage 100 cards. Then I can manage 500 cards. Then 1,000 cards. 100,000 cards, for example. Well, um, when you want to speed run from level one through level four, like you're, you're getting up and running and you're just like, I just want to, I, I know what I want to do. I want to do it. The, the, the fastest way at that is to sell cards with what I call velocity. Velocity is the speed at which, or the throughput rate that cards sell on TCG player. Uh, for example, you could have one card that sells five copies of that card in a single day. So if you list that card today, tomorrow, you might be one of the five cards that sell tomorrow. You could end up listing a card that might take 30 days to have one sale. And if you only have 100 cards listed and it takes you 30 days to sell one of those cards, you're not going to have enough, um, you know, enough sales to really demonstrate that you can make it to the next category quickly. So you have to pick cards that have high velocity. So if you go and you try to buy somebody's bulk collection, it's a little bit hard to have that velocity buying bulk because bulk doesn't always have that same speed or throughput of, of sales. So what I like to do, I like to sell recent cards. I like, you know, when you, when you level one through four and do it quickly, you sell cards that are of recent sets within the past couple years that people are still playing and in standard and oh, is somebody playing standard standard modern um you know commander the things that are out there and have a lot of demand speaking of commander has probably the most demand of all of them so if you're to buy or invest cards that you have for the intent to just sell them and try to make money one good place and the one place i'm going to recommend on how you speed run is through purchasing these pre-con commander decks now, you can even go on Amazon, you can go on eBay, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to find pre-con decks for sale that are cheaper than the cards are worth inside. So let's say you find a lightning deal on Amazon for, um, you know, this one Ixalan Commander deck. You buy like five of them, and it turns out there's, you know, more value in that box than what it's worth. So... Um, essentially, through buying commander decks and breaking apart the cards, you get cards like Soul Ring, you get very playable lands in many instances, very common cards that people are using in commander decks that people buy all the time. So you can go out, you go out to eBay, go out to Amazon, search for um, commander decks, you start sorting start looking and looking through it and you say okay i found one that looks like it's a pretty good deal well you can go over to mtg goldfish type in that commander deck pre-con and it pops up and will give you the value of what that pre-con deck's worth in singles right at the top of the page i'm going to try to throw one up on the screen right now so you guys can see it so you're looking for that now remember though you're going to have fees so if you're like oh man this commander deck is 50 dollars in value in cards but there's, it only costs 40 or 35. Well, you're probably just going to break even on that because you have fees, you have postage, you have all these kind of things. But speed leveling one through four, that's okay. You're looking for something like that, right? You want to speed level one through four. You go buy four or five of the same commander deck. 
Don't buy a bunch of different ones. You just get the same one. Get the same one that you know you're going to make a bunch of money on. Even better if one of the cards in those commander decks is worth the majority of it, because you sell that, you turn most of your cash flow, and we'll talk about that in later videos. But ideally, you find one with a high value card inside that that card sells quick, and you you recapture your cash. But if not, either way, you crack open all of those commander decks, three, four, five of them, whatever. You crack them open. They're guaranteed to be already sorted for you. They're guaranteed to be in the same order already. They're already a part of the same set. So you're getting ready to actually like store your cards the correct way, organize them the correct way. You can go down and start just typing in in the inventory in TCG Player. First card, boom, for, uh, for quantity, list it at low price, the low price on the market, and then hit save. That's the next piece. Why, you know, speed leveling one through four, you always sell on the market low. Normally, you know, I'd say I never sell low. I always sell market plus a percent or direct. When you're just starting off, think about it. Do you want to order from somebody who has zero sales, who has five sales, who doesn't really have any feedback yet? So you have to offer customers a discount in order to drive, you know, drive them to buy the card from you. So you go just TCG low, just do low. And every day you can go in and, you know, make sure the prices are the lowest and and because the prices, you, you, you won't be the lowest if you don't sell it immediately. But um, that way you're selling cards fast, you're demonstrating you have sales, and um, you just keep doing that. Keep doing that for a period of 30 days once you once you get your money back and, you know, you, you make your money or the majority of your money back, you do it again. You go out and you buy three, four more commander decks. You crack them open, you list you list them, you sort them together, boom, put them away. Within 30 days, you can go from level one to level four using this method. And the, per the reasoning is that singles cards in pre-conned commander decks are in high demand. You know exactly what, you, what you're buying. You know exactly how much that's worth, right? You know, I know how much this brick of cards is worth and I'm going to throw it up on the screen right now so I can estimate how much my fees will be on top of that as well and I can also estimate in terms of how fast those cards will sell so lastly you know one thing when I was leveling through um, TCG player I had all of the requirements met from sales and all of that I didn't have enough feedback so like I would literally message people that purchased from me and say, hey, do you, would you mind just leaving me some feedback? Or I'd write inside the envelope, hey, can you just leave some feedback? Because you need enough feedback left as well to hit those numbers to, you know, move to the next categories. So that's how you do it. You know, like I said, you want to speed level in 30 days, level one to level four. Um, the, the only caution I'll use with this is um, you may speed level through faster than what you're ready for. So when it comes time to actually enter a bunch of bulk in or enter a bunch of stuff, your your methods for inventory are um, you know not the greatest, and you you may enter a scenario where you're disorganized and it becomes very hard to pick all of the orders, and um, it, it can be very dangerous if that happens. So make sure you're organizing your cards correctly. Make sure you're you're taking care of that, um, and then you can you know you can speed level through too. So that's what I wanted to talk about today, folks. If you have questions, put them in the comment. Check out my Patreon. I can do some one-on-one -on -one consulting with you guys as well as uh, selling a bunch of, um, bunch of stuff and doing some openings and, you know, doing some sets and stuff. So check that out. Thanks, everybody. We will talk to you all later.